combining their properties, like kind of unsaid that they're in the same universe, but not like not making obviously another Justice League or anything. That's probably the best idea they have right now, since they don't have any cinematic universe. I mean, you know, no, they do. That's the, but it's uh, <laughs> it's it's disjointed and yeah. random yeah. and just it's it, just you bad. Apparently, you have a great Superman you don't want to use. You're lose. You're changing well, Batman. I mean, in my opinion, the they sky's the limit them. from here after Justice League. People were fucking haters, but Justice League was good and fun. I mean, Justice League was fun, but it wasn't good. Yeah. And, uh, no, 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 no. It was no, like no, Jurassic no. World. And it's like it's like one of those movies where, it, like, the entire story can be summed up with, we can't beat this bad guy, so we got to revive Superman to punch him in the face. Which, okay, that's fine. But it, it doesn't. Was a Saturday morning cartoon. It's like yeah, like like DC tells such amazing stories in their animated video, in their animated stuff, and their comics. It's like why can't they translate that to the big screen? Why can't they tell those good stories on the big screen? And I think I I don't know what their problem is. Like I just don't. But it it's a shame because I love you know I'm I'm like you. I love DC comics. I love DC's cartoons their animated movies are some of the best i've ever seen but when it comes to their live action with the exception of wonder woman in my humble opinion they've just not they've not wrote a good story because like i said justice league the entirety of it is we can't beat this guy superman's got to punch him and i mean justice league should have been terrible because of all the problems that movie the production problems, right. behind the scenes problems that movie had so i feel like that Justice, Justice League, how it turned out, is a win. <laughs> right. That's a win, all things I'm, considered. So you got Wonder Woman. Well, it's like... Then you got Justice League. It's a bigger I'm win. I'm pretty damn sure Suicide Aquaman's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I, like I said... So I, now, and to their credit, like, they may announce things too much, but they're, they're not... Other than Shazam, uh, which is the only one that's, like, in production now, Aquaman's basically done. They, right, right. It's a fucking underwater, so special effects yeah, oh yeah. take forever. Oh, yeah. But, like, they're not, like, okay, we're just going to fucking rush forward. They're not. Yeah. They don't. It's like they don't know which direction to go, and now they're not just. Yeah, I mean, that, that that's a big problem. They're not making Suicide Squad 2. Good, because the first one oh, was did awful. did they actually cancel that now? <clears throat> because mean, as far as know. I know, that they haven't said anything about canceling it. I mean, that, that, well, don't Harley, worry. It's going to get a Harley sequel Joker. sometime because... Yeah. It made money. For better or for worse, it made a shitload of money, and uh, Will Smith is a character in it. Yeah. I mean, so, yeah. I mean, you and got, you got Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Um, yeah, you, I, I want them to make another one. I just want them to do it well next time. Yeah, they need they need to get they need to get to a point where they know what story they're going to tell and how they're going to tell it. Actually, like, that one is in production. What Suicide Squad two? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh God, I remember why? they had pictures of the cast together. I I mean I, I don't know. Not in. Not I in saw costume, I saw a but. post like that, but I I didn't click on it because I'm like how? It's and I haven't yeah. heard a, a damn thing about it. Like I'm I'm definitely rooting for them. I, I I mean I don't expect them to do Marvel levels, but I grew up on DC more than I did Marvel. Like Marvel, all I had was Superman and Iron Man, but DC was Justice League, Green Lantern, you know, Batman and Superman, Batman Beyond, like. Some of my favorite cartoons are DC properties, and it's like, dude, y'all need, y'all need to get your shit together. Yeah. Stop trying to rush things out. Stop trying to compete with Marvel, and just do what you do well. I think that's I think that's where they're going, and uh, I think they're on the right part track. of the way of doing that is they're trying to also diverse their movies, where they're trying to come out with like the Scorsese thing, right? And they're trying to come out with stuff that's not necessarily associated. Which I mean, that, those may be good, and I really hope they are. Yeah, no, um, for sure. But as far as a brand goes, I think that goes against having a brand, having well, a universe. Well, it does, it does in a sense beforehand. But it, yeah. okay, once it theoretically, comes out, if they make this Joker movie with good. Scorsese and Joaquin Phoenix turns out to be the Joker, they yeah. make this movie. This movie is a fucking Best Picture nominee or whatever, and it's one of it's amazing. It's just then <laughs> afterwards, you that's a good problem to have. I'd rather exactly, have that problem exactly. than no good movies. You figure out how to make that link up in some way, yeah. anyway. Afterwards, just worry about making good movies, which is good. I mean, yeah, yeah. that should be your first priority because I don't think that when Marvel made Iron Man, they were planning on an entire cinematic universe to to the degree that it's gotten to now. And I feel like they're they the. I big think thing about the DC, they have a built-in reset in the Flashpoint, and I feel like the Flashpoint is a really fucking dark story, which goes against, like, okay, we want to brighten things up. 
But you look at who they have playing the Flash. Like he's not. He he's a fucking. He's a complete fucking goof. Yeah. yeah. Like, What's yeah. funny about which the is Flash good because is... I feel like we're gonna get the reboot, but we're not gonna get Gal Gadot cutting off. Yeah. Any heads. <laughs> it's <laughs> and you, throwing them at people. You have that turning card. bad guys in the red mist. Yeah. Yeah. You have that card, but like it, they can't get that movie off the ground. Which at this point, because they've had so many problems, is pr- a good thing. Yeah. They can keep tweaking that to see where they need to go. No. Yeah. I'm cool with it. You just. Like, or, that, that's you know, probably one of the best things that happened is that movie getting delayed. I think things are going to sort themselves out over like the next year. Either Ben Affleck's going to shit or get off the pot, and he oh, really needs—he really, sure he really done, needs to just get really, off of it and yeah, no, let I mean, it go. He, he just needs to quit. Like, if you're not going to do Batman, but you're not going just just quit. Walk away. You, you just recast it, but I don't want them to. Yeah, no. Until I mean, they get to the like, <laughs> until after Flashpoint, like, don't fucking don't recast it when you're gonna. Do be doing a reset later on. Just be like, dude. Just so if you want to do Batman, just do a can do a Batman cameo, please. Just do yeah, a Batman something. cameo. Do do a back like a, a, a flashback prequel. A flashback. You ain't got to work yeah. out. We put you in a muscle suit that's so thick you can't even wipe your own Don't ass. Don't even anyways. put him in a muscle suit. Just put him in a fucking scene where he's like talking to Alfred. And, Alfred, remember that time when I beat the Red Skull or the black the Black Skull? And then fucking flashback. You know, something. Just just anything anything more. Yeah. So how you guys doing? You know, we just went on a six and a half minute rant about I DC. I think we're going to be talking about DC. It just kind of happened. It just kind of came up. I mean, it happens. that's how we do things. Everything's spontaneous. We had – this is – okay. I know like we said last week or week before or whatever, that sometimes we don't have – this, this is one of those weeks where we have zero plan. Honest to God, there's not really been much news in like the gaming sphere or the movies, like movie sphere. Yeah. And I'm a little, I'm a little behind on movie, movie news, but nothing in the gaming sphere has really even piqued my interest. Oh, you don't like, like Fortnite? <laughs> like I don't fucking care about Fortnite, and it's all simple shit news. Yeah. It's mobile. I don't fucking still like mobile gaming. Thieves. Like yeah, and then <laughs> you're, you're, I'm still you're, like, you're, I'm still grinding my soul away. <laughs> there's like. Just, I, I, I just really did a 15 to 20 cool. minute, That's 25 it. minute, 30 minute voyage for a fucking goddamn seafarer's chest that raised my fucking reputation like a centimeter, and I'm level 25 out of 50. What do you What do you get when you hit 50? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't want to. I don't want. The, I don't want to. I'm enjoying Sea reading, of Thieves. The, reading the, the timeline of your Sea of Thieves, you get a new shiny purple costume. You get <laughs> another voyage. You get you another. Get, you, you get, get another, another reputation bar. But this these voyages consist of all three factions, and there there's a eight there's eight chapters. So like, okay, find the chest. Chapter two. You have to have like an at least an hour, hour and a half to do the, if, a voyage if you start it because you if you fucking log off you lose your progress okay there's honest, no honest there's no game save trailers, at the time at, honest at this game time. trailers usually takes the shit out of games it's comedy it's funny um Unless the game is like legitimately bad, normally they're not really mean to it. They destroyed Sea of Thieves. And you get a new you get a new sea down. shanty. I mean, play on your I mean, music box. Oh, you get a new song. It, it opens up it it opens up a board to like the secret pirate hideout. <laughs> but that's it. You just get to buy new useless that game cosmetics. Should have been free with the Xbox. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's ten dollars with Game Pass if you're into that. There you go. You know what? That should have been the only way they released that game, and then they probably yeah, got I mean, more they knew what they Pass. had. Why I mean, do you that's, think that's, they put it on yeah. Game Pass? That's one they of those things. Yeah, that's one of those things I get. Like you can either Let's pay the ten bucks a month for Game Pass, or you could turn around and pay sixty dollars for it to have. Let's it turn a negative like, into no. a positive. We can no. have everybody yeah. shit on Thief Thieves and not see if Thieves and not play it, not for because it's sixty dollars, or we could put it on Game Pass, and now we can make all of our. We can make all of future titles that and are you get all these other games why wouldn't you pay them? available immediately on game pass positive pr instead of negative pr i, I mean fucking, you I, I, I don't know i i don't want to hate on the game because i've not played it but i do know that there's not much in the way of content like it, it's just it's just a it's just a sandbox seafaring cartoony it's b- repetitive game, which it's is fine i love the idea similar task yeah, I, I love the idea, but like, it's a really what's the mission? What's the quest that you have? Yeah, that's you, what you that's go what I was about and you to receive say. an item and you come back. It's a really cool, beautiful, detailed sandbox, right? But it's just good for looking around and going, "Ooh, ah, uh, how cool is that?" It, it's it's it's, it's, it's an, you don't get that satisfaction of like they need to a meter going up. That's any like 
Yeah, it, what not, it is, there's no RPG satisfaction it's, or it's, loot. It's, and it's, shit it's like an that, early right? access game disguised as a full release. They need or, I, early There's access. Shit in the I think is a little that aren't in the game right now. I think early access is a little bit more. No, cool. no, no, no. It's exactly I think what it's it like is. A tech like, demo. There's shit in no, the no, achievement no. thumbnails that is not <laughs> in the game right now. So they yeah. had, they fucking took this shit out of the game. It's no man's seat. It really oh. is. Oh man! It is. Oh, hey God. man, No Man's Sky is about to release on Xbox, and it's, and it's about to, to come up with decent, some huge yeah. updates and blah blah blah. <laughs> you know, I I, I bought a um, I bought a No body. Man's Sky clone on uh, on on a Switch called MoFight, and it's a better. By yeah. a My roommate mile. Jeremy played uh, No Man's Sky, and he fucking loved it. I'm like, he bought it after all like, the updates. You had bad and no, crazy stuff. not really. No, Jeremy just well, has he bad did, taste. But yeah. I mean, most of that it's, stuff was out. Was nice I'll look guy. him in the face I just and say the he game, has bad taste. The art direction like, of the yeah, game is ugly taste, as yeah. fuck. So I will, no matter what they update, I cannot stand the fucking graphics. Um, the, I those, mean, like, but that's see, that's crazy thing, LED. That's the only selling point for me like is it. it's going to be 4K supported on Xbox One X. Now I just want to hey, see yeah, now you can have your um, you can have now your you can LSD have. Uh, tripping on in 4K, yeah. yeah and the same or, four or creatures or on every planet. Here you go. Even better, that you can have your you can have your bright, meme. colorful Caesar. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that, that's actually one thing I like about MoFi is that it's it's like shell 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 Yeah, shell shaded. <laughs> it actually looks nice. Like it looks <laughs> way better, and it's on Switch. Best. Yeah, I don't know who made that game. Somebody needs to make a sequel to Thirteen. That, yeah, I, I do miss that game. Like, that game was fun. Hulk Ultimate Destruction. That was a great game, too. Yeah. First game I ever played that had throwing knives and was pretty fucking brutal when you threw a throwing knife into somebody's fucking eyeball. You know what game, like, we're talking, since we're on, like, the Hulk somewhere. Hulk a... No, 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 13. 13, 13 no, no. Shooter. That would be <laughs> interesting, though. The Hulk though. threw tanks at other tanks, which okay. was awesome. No, here's... Agent here, Hulk. If yes. we're going to talk about, like, like you know, um, remaking games, Yeah. You know, I'd like to see a remake of Blast Corps. I don't know that one. I've uh, heard the name. Nintendo but I... 64 game, it fully indestru- fully destructible everything. Oh, wow. You play as mech. You, you, there's, you can play as, like, a mech. You can have a, a little, like, jet pack suit where you slam into shit. Uh, you get, like, dump trucks to crash into buildings. And, like, the goal of the game, there's, like, a there's like a missile on a on a tanker being cut across the city, and you got to clear its path. Huh. So, like, the whole idea is to destroy as much shit as possible in the path of this, this, this uh, missile. Awesome. Yeah, and like if you don't, it's nuclear explosion and everyone dies. <laughs> and some of the game, like some of the levels were stupidly hard. It was just a fun game cuz you could literally destroy everything. It was a top-down game. There was nothing in the game you could not destroy. That's awesome. So the, I, you I'm know, like, make that make, somebody remake that on fucking Switch yeah. or PS4 or something, you know. You were mentioning before we came in here speaking of remakes and destructible environments. That they're looking at remaking some of the uh, Red Faction games. Yeah. Uh, Red Faction Guerrilla, still mm. one of my all-time favorite games. Absolutely, completely I thought it was really cool. The first time I broke a bridge and so. had to rebuild it, it <laughs> broke my brain. Well, you couldn't... It's I like, don't think whoa. you could rebuild in Guerrilla. I think the, that was the, the The blue one where the dude's, like, on the cover... I don't remember. I never played any of them Maybe all the way through, so I'm not. A, I don't know. What Gorilla, I'm talking about Gorilla when it comes was the one that faction. had mechs and everything that, like, in, yeah, on the surface of Mars. Right, right. Um, Maybe it was called Ar- Maybe it was Armageddon or something like that. I know. Which, I know which one, one you're talking about. But uh, Gorilla, like, there were missions where you would have enemies at the top of like a big building, right? And you know, get up here and destroy everything. You could literally go to that mission. And on the bottom floor, take a fucking sledgehammer and break all the supports and make the building collapse and everyone dies and you complete the mission. <laughs> you didn't never have to go inside the building at all. You could just fucking smash the support beams with a hammer. That or is throw man, thermite and that, that, that is super nostalgic. That is the cheapest fucking oh, thing so I've ever fun, heard. Man. That's from like the fucking good old ultimate tournament or ultimate tournament, I think that was what it's called. The yeah. the the Epic Games. Unreal tournament. Unreal tournament. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. very The old G4 days when uh, Halo 1 was a thing. Yeah, before Halo, man. Unreal tournament. Halo oh, yeah. O- Unreal OG. tournament predates Halo by quite yeah. a bit. Like, we're talking 1999. Rocket jumps and shit. Double kill. Multi-kill. Monster kill. Yeah. I, I love I love sitting there getting shot. Like we would play all every day in high school until we got banned from the, from the uh, study room. And we... <laughs> We like, kept putting it on our, the shared drive at our school. Yeah, yeah, same, same here, and, and we played the fuck out of that. That was one. Of, 
Sniper rifle is OP as fuck. It is literally one shot, even if you shoot him in the hand. <laughs> it I doesn't mean, matter. I if I had a body and one shot in the head. If I no. had a video game in your very original, it was it was one shot. Well, they if must, I had a triple yeah, A video game, they nerfed it. They like, nerfed it in the later update. Here's budget. Yeah. I want you to. Re- I want you to like redo an old video game franchise. It would be load yeah. and reload. That old like it was kind of like Twisted Metal. Yeah, no, I, I, but I like the fucked about. up clown with the balloons, and it's like Twisted Metal Black, but not cute. Like it was actually dark and fucked up. Like you go through a mental institution, and there's blood everywhere and yeah. <laughs> shit, and it was top down. And you just run around. It was like Contra shooting us, but top oh, down, okay. maze like. Yeah. It was really fucking cool. That was, those were All the cool characters games. were were really, really, really fucked up. And Back in the nineties, they I, made I, some really. Fucked it's the up old games, PlayStation days. You remember the giant PlayStation boxes, the yeah. hard cardboard PlayStation yeah. boxes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when that game came out. Like they, the they old Primal fucking... Rage days. <laughs> They talk about games nowadays being, you know, I mean, back then, you, you graphically you didn't have everything, but the environments you'd have yeah. insane asylum with like fucking bodies mm. and shit. Everywhere. I mean, one game I'm going to point out that was, that was way darker than whatever appear was like Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask got, had so many dark ass themes, yeah. man. Like it just weren't yeah. surface level. No, no, they weren't. Like you had to play the game and get into it and do some of the deeper missions. Like, like there's one where you have to tell, you basically have to tell a little girl her father is dead and he ain't yep. coming back. Like, there's another one where there's two lovers. One of them got turned into a child. You have to reunite them, and they die together. Yeah, like, it, they it gets choose dark. to die at the end of the world together. Yeah. That it, reminds me of the game crazy. I just played. Bittersweet. Yeah. Sad, happy ending. Yeah. Man, it, that, that game was way darker than people gave it credit for. Because, you know, it's all cartoony and shit. No one thinks about that. Like, And, uh, I mean, it was Legend of Zelda, which always right. had a good story. But that game was like, what if... It's not happy. Was yeah, it? like like like, like that was one of those things. Like when I got it again on 3ds matters. and I'm sitting there playing it, like I was I was crying legitimate tears and at some of the shit. Didn't they? The re- was wasn't that the Zelda game where they just flat out reused assets from a yeah. previous game? Well, yeah, because and it, they was, made it was chicken. A, the, they made yeah. like chicken soup out of chicken shit. It was. I don't know about that. I mean, the it was both a, games like were they were they were dealt a shitty hand time. where they didn't have a ri- they didn't have a lot of original assets. I remember reading about that. Well, it was a direct sequel to. Ocarina of Time, and um, uh, t- if I remember correctly, the the name of the world which now escapes Germania. me, Termania. Termania. It was supposed to be a sort of uh, alternate universe, I think, hmm. of of what uh, uh, Hyrule. There's, a, there's legitimately like a lot of theories to that game because yeah. it's never really, um, like cited out like what is this it's an alternate world but they like you said they reuse the, lots of the assets yeah, the yeah, same yeah, character yeah. models and everything things are very similar the ranch girl is still in the ranch although it does use a slightly more a slightly updated or improved engine yeah like combat's a little more fluid uh, little you had faster. to have you had to have the uh you had to have the expansion the pack. expansion pack on you the n64 you point. needed that extra four megabytes of ram <laughs> yeah i remember having to buy that thing for yeah that game. never played i think we bought it game. and it came with the expansion pack at the time it was like yeah. 89.99 and then we had like 17 expansion packs but only like seven nintendo 64 i don't oh, know wow. why i don't know how but i mean not actual you don't number, have them now yeah, those no, things out of amazing. any accessory for the n64 days that's worth the most oh i know it's it's nuts i'm sure my i mean i don't know my parents threw a lot of shit away when they moved last but i'm, I'm sure that somewhere There's probably expansion packs somewhere yeah because we we literally i know I mean, we didn't have 17 of course but i know we had more expansion packs at the end before everything before i left or whatever i know we had more expansion packs than we had nintendo 64s I That's played uh, Mario 64. I bugged my dad to buy me a Nintendo 64. I had it for about a week. I fucking hated the controller, and I didn't like Mario 64, so I made him return it for me. That's <laughs> terrible. The whole system. And they took it back. They took it back. And then the only other games <coughs> for 64 I ever played, I went over a friend's house, and I played Turok. And uh, I played the Zelda game where you wake up in a tree. That's the that of time. Yeah, time. you can immediately go out and start fishing or whatever. That one was That's crazy. the one I that played. One, I played that, that for like less than ten minutes. I have no memory of that game. I, I mean, if you're not a Zelda fan, you're not gonna like any Zelda. I games, mean, so I matter. I love all the Nintendo properties. They're all like inherently interesting yeah. looking and fun to look at, and like they're fun titles. Bando but Namkai. I've just never played any of them. Bando Namco is making the next Metroid, and next Metroid Prime, and I'm still not sure how I feel about it. 
Man. I don't trust them. They're they're so hit and miss. Yeah, they you'll, are. Get, a, I was you'll get an amazing title. I'd rather have uh, somebody else. Do like that an, uh, an, an amazing title from them is enslaved Odyssey to the West. <laughs> like what it, happened? It, what happened to Retro? Did they go? Did they go under? Did they vanish? Like Retro they made? Didn't, they didn't make uh, Other M, did they? No, I don't know who made Other. M. I don't. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't know what yeah, Other okay. M is. Yes. But um, <laughs> no. Uh, like I don't know who made. I know that obviously they made Metroid Prime One and Two. Yeah. I don't know who made Three. I don't know if they were involved or not. But it's like, where are they? Why can't you bring get them to come back and do Metroid Prime Four? I Please. just I just hate Bando Namkai because they decided to reboot Splatterhouse, but in doing so, they also murdered the Splatterhouse franchise and that it's never going to come back again. They did such a terrible job with it. I mean, it's not, and it's not like you can blame modern culture or anything. Like, oh, no, I mean, they don't like violence. Are you kidding me? Have you not seen the success of GTA? I enjoyed it, but it was so goddamn hack and slash repetitive. Like, it was grabbed by the ghoulies repetitive. I, I saw, it's, hack and slash is one of those odd, odd uh, genres that you you would think would get boring, but like right now, like I'm still playing the lo- a lot of Fire Emblem Warriors, and it's just a hack and slash game. It was 2010 too, but even then, for the time, like mm-hmm. you need to have more, you know, sophisticated gameplay than you walk into a room, smoke screen appears in front of the doorways, enemies spawn, kill enemies before you can get rid of the smoke screen to enter a new area. Okay, no, that sounds absolutely awful. It's you that. It's funny though. It is that. Okay, over fire, and over for about eight hours. Fire There's, Emblem Warriors is nothing like that. No, it's a it's Dynasty Warriors. You're stuck in a big box. There's a lot of games that do that whole smoke over the doorway thing. God of War did it. They can it. do it. Ri- God of War did it. Um, Up until like God does of War it. three. Uh, Bayonetta does it. Um, fucking Fire, that Devil May Cry does it. Devil May Cry, like they, they, you can do that and it be good. Yeah. But you have to put a little more effort into it. Like I, I like Bayonetta. Every time you go into a new area, and that's I'm so exactly sad what happens. About Splatterhouse, it gets I so want it, I fucking it hard. Back. I still I mean, haven't played Bayonetta. Is, I had no idea it was that fucking hard, man. Splatterhouse is royalty. And like when it comes to horror games, and no, <laughs> it is. And it's, no, it's why dead is and no, gone. why no does one, nobody no give a shit it? about Splatterhouse? Nobody because it's not as good it. as you say it is. It is an amazing property. Like it's, dude, it was an amazing game. Then. I, you can't call it an amazing. Property. It was an amazing game. It is. Thirty it's years like ago, Evil Dead, Friday the Thirteenth, campy horror <laughs> franchise. Name another horror franchise like that. Like that. I, I don't know about like that, but I name a thousand horror franchises. Well, I mean, that's probably you can't not complain, not comparing Silent Hill to fucking yeah. Splatterhouse. That's an evil but, like. like, like, no, like no, if you love that, the Evil Dead brand of horror, but it doesn't feel like a horror game. I think that's. I think the I, mean. I think the originals do. I think the I originals know, do. I, I don't ever remember playing. They them. were on the box but for to me. That's they why were I'm, like Smash TV, and that's why I'm pissed because it's not backwards compatible right now. Yeah, is because on the 2010 disc they had Splatterhouse one, two, and three, and I would play those all the time. And I those games gave me fucking nightmares. Splatterhouse three gave me nightmares when I was a kid. I think the only video game back then that gave me nightmares was the Aliens video game, um, and that's only because Aliens gave me nightmares. Which one? Um, the it was an arcade game, and I would play it. Was it, it scared was the shit it, uh, out of me? Original it's a side scroller shooter. I don't know. Okay. I only played the arcade version. The original I fucking one was like it. a, a Doom style yeah, alien yeah. game. Yeah, no, I like. And it was game. yeah, it was really good too. Yeah, though, right? we was had it like that. you had the targeting reticle and yeah. you shot? It yeah, like, no, it, it, it was Terminator. Arcade-y. Terminator Two did a game like that too. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. This was this one we're talking about was Doom. Was Doom? It was Doom. Oh, okay. But it was doing with alien. We're a, oh, yeah. we're a okay. few years older than you. <laughs> yeah, no, well, <laughs> no, I'm older that's, than you. That's hard. Are you? Th- are you? How old are I'm you? I'm turning thirty this year. Well, I'm turning thirty-one in oh. November. Oh, never mind. And I, I just turned thirty-two. I thought I was. So. Oh shit! I thought I was older than you. I no. turned thirty. And you July. smoke too much weed, Luke. I mean, I, I wish I did. I don't smoke <laughs> enough. But um, been, I'm like, no, no, wait, no. The game have, we're talking about. Is, our, no, I get, I get that too. I get yeah. what you're saying now. When you said Doom. No, no, it, it um, is, it is Doom. It was Doom with an alien. You know club, what? I wish you were or an honor. alien skin. Well, no, I mean. It, it's like Doom in the first-person shooter sense, but yeah. it was it was its own thing. Okay. Like it didn't use, as far as I know, it didn't use the Doom engine, but oh, it used okay, okay. it used something similar. So maybe I'm thinking. I know there's another game out there that used the Wolfenstein engine. That used it was Wolfenstein with a new coat of paint, 
and it was a property, and I can't remember, uh, or it's Doom. Quake? I can't remember which one. There's been a couple. No, it was like, like okay. That's the only other franchise I could think of that. Or maybe it was Quake. That. With it was something. It was something where they took that game and they just put a skin on it and said, "Here's." Oh, uh, uh, well, okay, okay. But there, it could have been Quake, Doom, or Wolf. There Quake is, is like, hold up. There is that Doom um, money. There is an exactly alien. The there is an alien total conversion mod for Doom yeah, that turns the entire it wasn't, game I'm, into oh, it the wasn't aliens a, game. It wasn't aliens. Um, there's also Simpsons Doom. That kind of shit makes me want to have a. PC. There's Chex Quest. I remember Chex Quest. There's Chex Quest. Quest. Like that, that. You know, there's three of those. It was free. Now. There's three uh, of those games. Box. Oh, that's great. There's three of those games now. Like the original creator went back and made a third one. Like within the last five years. <laughs> like why not? Chex because Quest. Not? Chex Quest was literally. Doom with Chex characters, yeah. like Chex enemies. They just changed and, the sprites. <laughs> yeah, they changed the sprites. They changed the 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 palettes. It was kid all kid friendly. Kid friendly, Which completely I, kid friendly. I love you know what though? Kid it's, friendly, it's fun. Approved. It's 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 fucking Doom. Yeah, I've seen um, versions of that where they mo- just modded the Chex enemies into Doom's levels, so there's dead bodies and shit everywhere, <laughs> and you're just shooting like the little aliens from Chex Quest. Oh, I made it a point. I made speaking of Doom, I made it a point. I'd never played any of them, so I made it a point. Like I need to, I need to. It's like my gaming gamer pilgrimage. Yeah. I went back and and played one Doom Snake one, eyes. two, three, and the new one. Yeah. All the way through. All the way through. Yeah. See, I I've never beaten the original Doom. I'll beat like the first took, two or three chapters. It took me like twenty minutes, and I'm like I'm done. Yeah, the game, the game. Well, it wouldn't have taken you twenty minutes. It would have taken you a little longer. Um, Unless you played it on fucking bitch mode. No, I, I play on bitch I, mode and no, not look for any first, secrets. The first time I did, the second time I needed the achievement. So uh, <laughs> I can tell you right now, up. Um, like the like, first one, you only had to beat one level though. On it. Uh, oh, on, you were on, just trying to get achievements. On fuck you, yeah. Well, don't say you had you beat the whole game. Then. No, I, I did. I'm okay, saying okay, I went back what, after the fact you know to though? get the achievement on fuck you difficulty. Nightmare difficulty in Doom is is 100 unfair. It is yeah. that I, I no, just no, call no, it no 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 so so like like it's fine. So ultra violence is is just as difficult as but they as fucking nightmare. respawn. Well, no, ultra violence is just as difficult as nightmare without the respawn. Oh. Because that's the thing. After like a minute, enemies respawn. Oh god, fuck that. So like like if you if you play a normal Doom game and you want that challenge, you play it on ultra violence because you'll get the same enemies that will spawn in in nightmare. They just won't respawn after a minute. Yeah, remember I got to the end of a le- uh, towards the end of a level and I was like, deep breath. And then I went to go make a cup of coffee, and I was fucking dead. <laughs> and at the, I'd return to the fucking beginning of the level when yeah, I come no. back. I'm like, what, what, what the what? What's so, like, so, like, actually, actual Doom veterans, for the most part, when they do any just gameplay or, like, even speed runs, they play on ultra violence, not Nightmare. Yeah. Because, like I said, Nightmare is entirely unfair. Like you'll sit there, you'll kill those, you'll kill that cyber demon, you'll kill that fucking you know, those two barons of hell, <laughs> and then if you're not paying attention, they'll come, they'll back. come back and boom, now you're now you got a rocket up your ass. Like, Fuck that. it is entirely unfair. Why would you so, do I such mean, a thing? I mean, why, why, why do you do the things you because do? Because I burn things that's, that need to be burned. Yeah, but he's burning his own things. So I don't care. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um. I, have you ever tried to play through Wolfenstein? Also, old. it's twenty three hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. Have you <laughs> tried to play through Wolfenstein? Like no, no, which one? The, cl- the classic? The, oh, no, the classic. Oh, I am Death Incarnate. Yeah, no. Oh, I not on hard. I'm not on not not difficulty wise. Um, I I, I, I honestly can't, um, I can't stand walking through those corridors. I honestly can't do it They're anymore. So boring. Um, which is why, like, I can't I can't I can't do. Yeah. I just can't. So, like, when I play Doom. I play with mods. Yeah. Up my coffee. <laughs> God damn my coffee no. is warmer. My coffee no, is warmer. No, your coffee's not warmer. The outside of the thing is warmer because you directly heated the outside of the thing. Shh. <laughs> if it actually like heated up boiling, he just oh, oh god. my god, my lips. <laughs> It burns. Next us. thing you know, he, you know, he's he's just sitting there. We have it on camera. His face is melting. Off. He's just boiling. Huh? But uh, yeah, no, Those, uh, like, I, I can't do it. I admittedly just Wolfenstein's can't. Wolfenstein's even worse. In oh, my I opinion, know, I know. Because they they didn't have the ability to make the environments look very much different. It is endless, the same hallways and oh, the enemies. Oh yeah, yeah. No, just... I mean, it's either blue. Like, there's only three colors: blue, red, or white. Yeah. 
Oh, oh you know what? To be fair, in some of the levels, there's also a little bit of brown. Yeah. So, I mean, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm walking on the walls. To, uh, 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 trying, trying to find, to find the secrets. Trying to find doors that slide backward. They don't... Slowly slide backwards. <sighs> And then the fucking Nazis stand there. I vote. Yeah, vote. The, the only, the only one, the only secret I consistently get is when you go into the first like wooden hallway area of the first level, and you can go down a little tunnel or hallway, I guess, mm-hmm. to the left, and you open it up, and you get the rifle early, and that's that's the only yeah. thing I can remember. Like, and I, I've, I, that's one of those games that I, I hundred percent it on the GBA. Which on the GBA it was fine, it was perfect, it was shitty. It's a GBA. Yeah, it was shitty. It was it was fine, but man, I I couldn't I can't play that game these days. Like no, if I don't just... have if I don't have mouse look, at the very oh, least God, the ability to too. look around, at the very least the ability to look in in all directions. I yeah. can't do it, and that's why like I I won't play Doom with the original engine. I play it with a modern source port. So I, I play it with Z, GZ Doom, and I, I play with uh, mods, and mods lots to, of different stuff, to make it more difficult, add yeah. more enemies, new weapons and shit. Like, like when I played the original Doom, my primary weapon, I would always I would always work with the best weapon I had. Yeah. Well, so, like, my primary weapon would always be, like, the rocket launcher or, like, the double shotgun or something. I found that with the mods I play... I probably use the rifle because it adds a rifle instead of in, in addition to the chain gun. It adds a rifle and it adds the shotgun, or not adds the shotgun, but I use the shotgun, like the pump shotgun. I use those two way more than I do any other weapon. I love the shotgun, uh, fucking do. Yeah, like that was my weapon of choice. Yeah, I didn't play it long until enough until you get to like all the until you stuff. get the fucking the <laughs> chain gun. Yeah. Which doesn't last very long. No, no, you can you can tear through them. And like with the, like the mm-hmm. mod I use is Project Brutality mm-hmm. because I love the extra monsters it adds and all the weapons it has. It has like a heavy chain, a heavy machine yeah. gun, like the kind you take down tanks with. Nice. And it's like oh yeah, and you can switch between modes, right? So like it has like a anti personnel, it has heavy heavy uh, bullets, and then it has something else, and like you can just take down shit no problem. You want to talk about really really fucked up classic games like that? Quake and Quake 2. Oh, yeah. Those games were, like, uh, uh, fucking... Those were really fucked up on a military and, like, demonic level. Yeah, they no. They were really mean, fucking demonic. The strong are weird like enemies. Degrees yeah. of ripoff, like Quake after Doom and then pre- the original Prey after after Quake. Yeah. yeah it's like Quake, an amalgamation of all of them. I'm trying to remember which game it was where you were a space marine first. Was that Quake... Uh, I mean, or am I thinking? I mean, technically, Doom guy Unreal is a tournament space too. Marine. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Doom guy is oh, a space no, marine. no, no. I know so Doom I mean, guy. Yeah. This is not Doom, obviously. It was in 3D, aim up and down, and everything. Um, and I just remember, I, I want to say it was fucking Quake, and it was fucking, it was really brutal. All of the enemies were like uh, the semi, like the Borg. So it was uh, other soldiers that were like had cybernetics attached to him and not serious sam because that's more comedy but this was like brutal as fuck huh um but, i don't know like when when you when you say that uh, there's a couple of enemies in quake 2 that were cybernetic like that but uh, i can i nothing comes to mind for me i just remember i remember having a hacked version a uh friend of mine gave me the cd that had it on there yeah and every time you and i know it had the old quake like like that looked like doom and then it had the 3d one and when you exited the three, the old one, it always said, uh, "Thanks for buying our game." Um, <laughs> well, no, bad. I mean the original Quick was full 3D. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, at at least when compared to something like Doom. So I mean, it was it was like uh, it had like 3D models and shit, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And you could look up and down. It was not great, but you could do it. <laughs> Yeah, it was Quake too. I was thinking of that one. All yeah, I mean, cybernetic crazy ass fucking enemies. Yeah, like there there are enemies that you fight where the guy like has the gun on his arm and he gets close to you, he smacks you with his big like his hand looks like he has a giant oven mitt on it. Yeah, it's like why why do you have an oven mitt? Yeah, it's very it's kind of similar to Doom. They had uh, a flying enemies. You, that that's why. Were like yeah. skeletons. Yeah, that yeah. Were attached to big fans. <laughs> Um, I don't know that I necessarily that remember that, but Quake Two is is one of my favorite Quakes. Um, no, it was it was brutal, and it was pretty fucking long. I remember seeing shit from Quake Three. 
and I remember thinking how fucked about how fucked up it, what I was seeing was like people on a a fucking factory conveyor belt like getting limbs chopped off and fucking mm-hmm. cybernetics stuck on and you got to you got to feed your army man Quake 3 I remember the multiplayer but I don't remember playing single player I I never played Quake 3 by yeah, the time Quake I, 3 was a thing like I didn't have a way to play it so Quake 4 actually was fun I never played Quake 4 that's the one where it was like they almost went with like modern military versus these fucking weird things, and it had this like Halo esque campaign. Ah, uh, yeah, another Halo clone. It tried. I, well, it was trying to be like an in between of Doom Three, and I think it came out before Doom. 3. I always imagine one giant Halo. open vehicle level from Quake Three. Quake, you're thinking of four. Three didn't it, have vehicles. It, okay, is it four? Yeah. Yeah, Quake Four had vehicles. They added tanks and stuff, and it came out uh, on the 360. Whatever it came out on when it first released, it it, was, it would yeah. manage like maybe 10 frames a second for sometimes. <laughs> I remember it was just so unbelievably broken when it yeah. launched. That's the only reason I didn't buy it. I was really hyped for that game. And because I remember seeing scenes from it, just looked so cool. You should have played Prey. I did play Prey. Love oh, yeah. Prey. Prey at for its time when it came. Eleven out, years I of had, development. I had never played anything like that. It's no, the first no. game where like you'd walk into a room and you'd see a uh, stand with a glass case, and inside mm-hmm. would be a tiny little ball. I loved that. And then you'd see a level. fucking portal over there. You'd walk through, and then you'd be in the fucking glass case on this giant planet. That and it you'd has look and gravity you could see and you, enemies would come in and look at you and be like, her, her, like whatever fucking noise alien demon Giant makes. Giant fucking aliens. Yeah. And then they go they, through the they portal, go through and, you the portal and come and get your ass. And <laughs> it, it was, was so fun. fucking cool. No, I. And they stole Splatterhouse story plot, plot, Here we plot go arc again. in that game. <laughs> Fucking what, Jennifer, your girlfriend was captured? Gen- she's captured and she turns into a fucking monster and you have to kill her. No, and no, then no. They fu- you finally find her. Ending. You finally find her and she's a fucking half monster and you have to kill her. And you have okay. this all oh, this. What were you this, saying? Yeah, 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 because um, we don't do Tell fact checking Tell me Splatterhouse ain't a big yeah. deal. We don't do fact fact checking around here. A uh, Doom Three actually did come up before Quake Four. I think. Oh, it, it did before. About okay. about, about like I knew, 11 I months. couldn't remember exactly. Yeah. Quake Four's graphics were so much worse than Doom Three it was that amazing. I assumed Doom Three came out first. But yeah. like I said, Quake Four still managed to have an absolute shit frame rate. I didn't remember that you had to kill her at the end of uh, uh, Prey. I remember Prey it was wasn't depressing at the end. as fuck. You, it wasn't at the end. You finally find her, but yeah. I mean, she was an alien. I mean, I remember it like, was like you're dead the whole time anyway, see aren't you? In, who? What prey? Pre- no, you could you die and you go to like the Native Native American, American heaven. heaven and shoot and shoot uh, evil soul souls. arrows, and then you go back to life. It had what this weird system. What the fuck are you guys talking hey, about? Man, it starts so out when in you a actually bar. when you die as in the shooting yeah, space aliens. To, you instead to, of game over, Indian go back heaven. to a checkpoint. You go into this spiritual Indian realm where yeah. it's seriously, it's like you're in like um, Colorado or something or somewhere in the <laughs> yeah. desert and you're in like the mountains and you start seeing these evil spirits and you have a spirit bow that you have to shoot the evil spirits. And once you shoot enough of them, you go back to life and you continue fighting. It was it was a really interesting. That sounds absolutely, absolutely fucking bonkers and I want it. The whole game was take Native American traditions and like, like, um, I highly recommend that. And then game. combine well, it with what, what aliens. Is this? Prey. Prey. So they stole from Turok. <laughs> in the beginning of the game, the a little engine, bit. You wake up. You. you, you I mean, since we're talking about games, yeah. the game games. starts in a bathroom, and you're taking a piss or whatever. Yeah. And you go out, and you're just in the bar, and you're talking to the bar people. Your whatever, grandfather. Your whatever. girlfriend. And then the fucking alien invasion happens, and. You got a jukebox the and it blows the door and don't fear the reaper is the fucking song it's while so it's happening. Good. That's one of they the best suck your ass up in into the spaceship. It. It's an abduction. It's it's not just like an invasion. It's yeah. literally like the lights are going out, everything's shaking. You see like the bright green light, the doom. They also took from Duke Nukem because you come to and there's a big space there's a big space anus in front of you. You know every side yeah, yeah. has to have the opening yeah. space sphincter yeah. anus thing. I thought They're you right went to the butthole of the sand. Yeah. All the butthole doors. Oh, that's terrible. It was. It was so. <laughs> like it was a good game though. 
like our idea of what's... Good for a playthrough. Yeah. I might, I might After have to After that, it, it was kind of like... I mean, it's probably like $2 at GameStop now. <laughs> I won't go to GameStop. So. I'm sure you could find it on Steam or uh, oh, yeah, whoever yeah. owns it if it's EA. It, no, it's, it's like fucking... It's dated. It's wait, like, wait, isn't it's it? It's like 12 to 13 years old, so it's dated, but... I mean, I dude, I'm, could, I'm playing I think you Doom. Could do you could do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm play- 25 years old. Can you look around? Okay, I'm fine. That's all I need. <laughs> if it I can was, look around, I'm it fine. It was really inspired. Here's, like, 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 it's here's Doom the thing. 3 level of graphics. Or actually, a little bit better, I would say. Oh, yeah. Much better. I mean, I can Doom still 3. play Doom 3. Um, I just don't like Doom 3. You know, the character models were pretty good in that. Yeah, Doom I'm pissed 2. they didn't make a sequel. And then, and, and then they did. Because I wanted to see what happened to Tommy. But and Bethesda. Cares? Oh, it was it was Bethesda. Bethesda yeah. owns Prey. Yeah. yeah. Then they were gonna make a fucking Prey Mass Effect, whatever. That wasn't even a horror it game. It was gonna be but massive, use the name, and, and it makes no fucking... sense at all. Like the sh- the aliens you see in the original Prey. Yeah. They are not. They are. They are like s- scourge of the universe aliens. They're like I think they're they were essentially using people and whatever they could get their hands and on then, just for like. Uh, Resources like they just yeah, grinding it up. They would literally it for and, awesome. And then yeah, they kinda... that turned into what's that game that released recently? You're on a space station and uh, um, um, it's kind of like Bioshock. It came out like Prey. less than a years ago. Is it Prey? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, they made Prey? Prey too. Oh, they yeah, kept, no, no, they, no. They, it's just Prey. Straight up, straight, they they kept the name. Rebooted. It's a reboot. Yeah. Oh, is it? The only thing I think that it has in connection is that a wrench. Uh, oh, there's a wrench, <laughs> and I Which think is a your staple character. In all those first I think your character is a Native American. I could be wrong. He I only looks, played the demo. I think he looks more like Indian, almost, yeah. or Asian. Like it, his his brother is the only character I met, so I assume he's the same race as the. It brother. was. It lived up to the you prey would, title in Nick. that it was the gameplay was inspired like things that go on. Sort of. It was an like, RPG. It was weird a mind kind of RPG. It has to be kind it of a, a mind a mind twister. Yeah. Kind of deal. Yeah. Oh. It was it was interesting. It was uh, a Bethesda game, I meaning it was full of game breaking bugs. Probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just didn't care for like the enemies were all these blobby like ink blot things. Right. And I d I don't know, if I'm if I'm playing like a modern I alien didn't play it, I'm not gonna play. weird game, I want my I want my enemies to be really interesting looking. Xenomorphs. Yeah, or any type They're of alien fucking, fucking thing, but not just blobs that come and attack me. Yeah, I mean that, that that you could you can make something a little much more. It's that's honestly one of my biggest gripes with Resident Evil Seven. After I beat it, is that the general enemies, other than the really interesting ones, the family, those guys are fucking terrifying and awesome. Um, your normal everyday enemies you fight are just these fucking like slug monsters, and they're all almost ex- they have little differences, but for the most part they're pretty much the same, and yeah, they're not yeah. really interesting. That's good. And the the DLC. Oh, this is something I can talk about. The third DLC that came out, uh, or maybe not third, but they came out with free DLC where you play as um, Chris Redfield. Oh, that's and cool. it's a yeah. little bit more of an action game, which is cool. I thought that looked cool. It made me want to play it. Yeah, I, I liked it. The next DLC that came out on that Chris same Redfield vein. Chris Redfield does not, he ain't scared of no fucking hillbilly yeah. people. He's going to No, you're fucking him up. You're chasing people. one of the hillbilly people. But all you do in that is fight the slug things. And it's kind of like they're not interesting enemies. And then they introduce enemies that you can't shoot. You have to go find a special item to shoot first, which kind of pissed me off. The second one that came out, though, uh, which you're searching for some dude's niece that was kind of like an un, uh, like an unfinished story in the, in the game. They right, finish up in the DLC. Um, you're a dude who punches things to death, and it's fucking awesome. You get weapons. That's how I'd like but there's to kill no point, things. Th- or you don't get weapons the first playthrough. You like, get a shotgun. I just like punching stuff. You just punch. Yeah, like, no, I mean, that's how Hulk solves all his problems. Up, you can sneak up to these slug things and snap their throat and snap their necks, or go toe-to-toe and punch them to death, and then stomp their fucking skulls in. That sounds It's fun. so awesome. That, sound, that sounds way more satisfying than hiding in the dark and running away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's just, it's so satisfying. It's like, and when you get spears that he chucks 
and just fucking like he kills alligators with these spears. They're ridiculous. He's like Superman with his fucking that that spear see, throwing. That right there is just batshit insane. Because alligators yeah. are the type of thing where you can be like right up on a them. shotgun will bounce. Yeah, off. with a shotgun or like some high caliber, super strong weapon. Yeah. That, like the kind of gun that could shoot like the, through the engine block of a truck. And the, it's like the, the short a little exaggerating, but yeah, but alligator skin is tough as yeah. fuck. And he's throwing spears through them, or half the time they're right up on you, so I'm throwing it down their throat. Well, but I mean, okay, that, that's a little more realistic. That 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 is that right there. Their insides might be a little more yes. vulnerable. But uh, it was fun. It's like Far Cry Five. I didn't mention throwing shovels is way Dude, more entertaining than I, I thought it would be. I saw a game. I was like so down on it, and I saw a fucking YouTuber playing it, and he was like. He was strictly using the shovel yeah. in the game. I you can don't fucking launch that OP. shovel like a fucking... The shovel is OP. <laughs> you need to, Ubisoft, you see, nerf you see the a, shovel. Yeah, you just it, saved it, a prisoner one, it, that has I didn't his hands realize tied. It. You're like, hold still. <laughs> I didn't realize how OP it is. There are these enemies that when you shoot them in the face with a so shotgun, funny. they can get back up after a few seconds unless you shoot them again. One shot with the shovel kills Hashtag them. Hashtag real. You run around and Hulk throw these things and just <laughs> getting shovel. someone in the head shovel with it warfare. just makes this... Oh, it's so satisfying. I was like, I was like, can a shovel kill a bear? Yeah, I did accidentally kill a bear with a shovel, and I had no idea. I thought, no, it doesn't one kill. That makes me so happy. It's like there's no way you can one-shot a bear. I'm waiting the next time I play, I'm going to throw one at a a helicopter and see if I can take a helicopter. (laughs) Dude, if you take out a helicopter with a shovel, I give up on everything. So fun. Oh man! Just I mean, a shovel is a perfect weapon, it's, and it's know, a si- it's technically a silent weapon, <laughs> and so I'll go sprinting Bong. straight at like three or four guys. One will turn and be like, "Hey!" And before he gets the hay out, just chuck the like, shovel. They take know. Him here's out, why you know they know exactly shovel. what they're doing. You can carry doing. nine shovels because you can carry nine shovels and you can projectile throw them so like you've spears. Got why shovels. did why do they allow you to projectile throw a shovel <laughs> okay, like okay. a spear? We got an issue here in that games are setting because up for incredibly. <laughs> unrealistic expectations on how many shovels you can carry. Yes. I think it's I think you can once you get buy an upgrade where you carry more melee weapons, I think you carry nine and nine. So if you have you have your normal shovels and then I I spent uh, the I just used in game money because it you can get it easy. It's fun hunting for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Kill like ten bears, ten deer, ten whatever the hell else. Or two because you get yeah, you know, whatever. You hunt for a little while and you get a bunch of skins. You sell the skins. You get a ton of cash. Right. Um. I bought the happy, the smiley face shovels. So now, <laughs> since you can t- carry two groups of melee weapons, I have regular shovels and I have smiley face shovels. So I'm throwing shovels with smiley faces painting on them into people's like craniums. It is hilarious. It's as hilarious as it sounds, and you need to hear the sound effect when it <laughs> when it fucking it's just dings brutal. into somebody. Yeah. And the the uh, sneak attacks when you do the takedowns. Um, it automatic usually sometimes it doesn't pull out the melee weapon but it will sometimes so he'll hit him in the stomach and then just <laughs> swing the shovel at the side of their head Jesus Christ <laughs> or just straight up like double handed behind the back bring the shovel down on the back of somebody's skull <laughs> You guys might have made the shovel a little too It is powerful. OP and it is a beautiful thing. Right, that's awesome. I mean, nobody will suspect the shovel <laughs> and the He's people that do. <laughs> It's too late. You're already Easter dead. Egg. Oh, and Hit someone you with run the shovel. up and you pick the <laughs> shovel back up so yeah. you don't waste your shovels. The way you do with arrows, you can pick them back and up and also, you pick back up the shovels. I'm pretty sure one of the toughest enemies is a turkey. Turkeys. Oh, like, like I, I saw shot a, a turkey three times with a, a shotgun. I saw a dude shoot a dude shoot a turkey like a couple times with a shotgun, then set it on fire, and he had to run away as the flaming <laughs> turkey was chasing him. Oh my god! Turkeys that setting eagles. a field on okay, okay. fire so as like, it's chasing him. Are like the turkeys the honey badgers of this game yeah, or something? Like, no, wolverines are because that's wolverines what take said. ten or twelve shots. Jeremy shotgun said shots. wolverines are. Jesus wolverines Christ! Wolverines are fucking like. I okay, have, bring shovels with you when you go wolverine hunting. See if you can one shot the wolverine with a shovel. You can, yeah. Shovels, shovels kill just about everything. I what think fuck, maybe man? grizzly bears will take one or two. Bison might take a couple. What the fuck? Shovels are. I haven't tried because it's so op. I don't use it very often. That, that but when I want to laugh, I'll run around with a shovel, <laughs> and I usually will survive better with that than I will with I'm, if I'm using any guns. That's terrible. It's so because I mean, you know, wow. Yeah. Oh man. Cool with it. Hunting, hunting in. There's an area in the game 
um, where there's a, a, the female character, the female villain, um, you get blissed out, which is like it's a, some fucked up drug mm-hmm. that makes you start hallucinating. Right. So randomly, I'll try she some. will just be dancing in the field next to you. Okay. Which is really annoying when you're fucking fishing because she's la 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 next to you. Or when you're walking around, she'll make animals appear in like... So you shoot them, and it disappears, so it's not that animal. And a lot of times it'll turn into a completely different fucking animal that'll then attack you. Like, I'm fucking black bear hunting. I need it for a quest, so I have to get one black bear skin. So I'm running around an area that's marked for black bear hunting with my bow. And I'm walking, there's an animal. Pull the bow out, shoot the black bear, it turns into a fucking a mountain lion and comes chasing after me. So then I have to shoot, like, six arrows into the face of the mountain lion kill that skin that keep walking around there's another bear i shoot it with an arrow it turns into a deer and runs away (laughs) fucking cunt it was it's 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 really interesting that she does that kind of shit but at the same time it's annoying each each of the each of the bosses have their own like interesting stuff right one dude's area has these violent fucking wolves that take out bears and are like painted with like red paint and are fucking terrifying are we sure it's just all over I mean, it's painted on them. So it might be blood, but yeah. it's been painted on them to be vicious and fucking horrifying. Well, of course. I mean, you know, you yeah. got to gotta do something to make the wolf even more yeah. terrifying. Which is why when I'm in that territory, I'm fucking bringing cheeseburger and um, mittens, which is the fucking uh, the, uh, cougar's name. Of <laughs> so course I'm it is. with a cougar and a bear. A cougar named Mittens. <laughs> and then like, you try to cross the road in a Far Cry game. The fucking cars are dangerous, to... too. Yeah. Like, I, the, I haven't played a game where, like... I remember in Far Cry 4, I literally, I literally just was running around and I went to. Yeah, I saw they will sh- run I, you the fuck I over. Saw, I looked both ways. It's fucking empty. I put my head down to sprint and I fucking get wiped out by a car. <laughs> I, and I saw a fucking gameplay video for five and the dude named his bear Cheeseburger. Oh, he did. It's automatically named Cheeseburger, and he can't oh, have che- cheeseburgers are his okay. favorite food. And he can't have cheeseburgers on account well, of the diabetes. Well, this bear's like mauling people. <laughs> I love They're that. They're in the street. By the this way. bear's like mauling people, and then he kills another guy in front of him. And then the bear comes back and he pets the bear. He's like, "Good cheeseburger or yeah. whatever. You're safe with me." And then he fucking gets wiped the fuck out by a car, just murdered, <laughs> to like killed him to death. Yeah. Oh yeah. That bear. When they get when your when your companions far, go far down, do not play. When your companions go down, you can get them up in a certain amount of time. If you don't, then they go on like a 15 or whatever minute cooldown, so you can't get them back for a while. Yeah. Um, and the AI is not very good. Right. So there's been frequent times where I'll be flying a helicopter and I'll go land somewhere and jump out and start fighting. Well, for some reason, reason uh, sometimes I haven't like landed the helicopter completely. So it'll maybe still be in the air a little bit, or it'll be on the edge of something, so it'll move. So I've had companions get out, the helicopter shift, and kill them. Oh, <laughs> and so I'm running around one companion down going, where the fuck did she go? And I'll go find her body under the treads of the helicopter. You're like, well, fuck, not yeah. again. Or, oh, man, never, I learned the hard way in this Far Cry, much like the second one, which is yeah. why I said it goes back. Um, never start a fight near the road in an area you haven't conquered because they will constantly be randomly driving along the road. Right. So if you're doing a fort, um, they'll call for backup. The backup will show up. A tr- car may ran- randomly, a truck, may, a gun truck may randomly drive down the road. They'll turn in and start fighting you. Uh, fucking another truck might come in. They'll come and fight you. And eventually you've got like 18 trucks, guys running around everywhere. You're just running around like, I didn't want to do this. <laughs> I just fucking, wanted to beat a guy with a shovel. You. Yeah, I just wanted to. That's when you pull out the shovel and go, you're all fucking dead. <laughs> Shovel everything. The this is sticky serious. bombs. The the C four in the game though is like a great equalizer. Yeah. Because you throw it, and your character, even though I think he's just like tossing it with his left hand, is like a baseball pitcher with how far he can throw the C four. <laughs> so I and I dead sprint, be running along, throw the C four at groups of trucks, and then just hit the detonate button when it's like just fine, like right above it, blow <laughs> like fifteen cars up, destroy everything in the area, kill both my companions. But all the enemies are dead. That's what matters, <laughs> and damn that's it. what matters most. You can sacrifice whatever the fuck you need to. And then just throw a enemies. shovel like 700 yards and kill somebody. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> Honestly, all this is Leonidas making... chucked that shovel. I really want to play the game now, but I still won't buy it 
Just because of you play. You play on PC? Nope. No, nope. thank you. Nope. I got well, it on do it. Nope. 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 This nope. is random and completely off topic. You want to know? We were talking about Sea of Thieves earlier. You know how bore? You want to know how boring it is to sail alone solo? <laughs> I just I just went over a post on Reddit. It says solo sloop players should get a pet rock for comfort. Who wouldn't want to bring a little inanimate object on the lonely sea voyage? There you There's go. a pet rock with glo- googly eyes. <laughs> And you can I'd play okay your sea shanty songs. Yeah. Whole time. I, I, I'd be okay with that. I'd, I'd take a little rock pet. You know, <laughs> like, like the dude that made the pet rock in the 70s made like, like millions. millions of dollars. I love that he was on uh, um, what? So You Love the 70s, whatever that show on TLC. TLC? V, v, uh, VH1. VH1, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love like the 70s. like every decade ever. They did all the decades, but yeah. he was on there. And they're like, I bet he made these. It didn't cost him more than a dollar. He's like, dollar? These things only cost me like 16 cents. <laughs> and it was like, you motherfucker. Uh, he, he was selling rocks. I don't yeah. know what you want. That's it. Rocks. It's just rocks in a box. Rocks in a box. He would sit there. He'd, he'd pick out a rock that looked like a pet and just fucking drop it in a box and send it to somebody. And you know what? And I sit here and you, we might be like downing on those people. But at the same time, Andy Milanakis is literally making a fortune off of eating on Twitch. Yeah, And other yeah, people I mean, make how much money just doing fucking mundane things. I mean, yeah, considering, like, cam girls can literally make, yeah. like, $50,000 from sitting there, like... And sometimes not even cam girls, just regular people. Yeah, like, like they're not doing anything. Are you cutting yeah. your fingernails with wire cutters? No, he's cutting his fingernails with toenail clippers. Yeah. Those are some, like, super high-end toenail clippers. If you must know. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> and my thumb is kind of like a small big toe. I mean, it's it's big and fat and yeah. helps them with balance. So, yeah. I guess it does. There's no better way. <laughs> I to, don't know. There's no better way to end the podcast. <laughs> there yeah. we go. We're it's done. It's kind of like That's, a big toe. And now you know what thumbs do. <laughs> <laughs> they help Luke with balance. They I don't know why. They help me with balance. <laughs> I hold them out to the side. <laughs> <laughs> if one... I fucking hate video games that when you walk across something small that make you do that, oh, I might fall, fuck at every time it's in a video game. It's in Far Cry 5, and when it did it, I fucking dropped my controller like, no, I'm not doing this. It's too much anxiety. I hate that shit. I absolutely hate that. Breath of the Wild does that. It, it's annoying. Yeah. Well, it, it, in third person, I can handle it. Yeah. But it's first person. Yeah. And it's like, I'm not moving the stick to the left or the right. Stop fucking with me. But it's, it, like that's the thing with these sticks. You could be. You very well could be. It could be just a I fucking know. like half a degree. Half a fraction and like half a fucking degree. Like every that's all time I'm like, I'm going to fall. Gonna all fall. right. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and <laughs> wrap it up there before we get on talking about Luke's big toes again. Yeah. Well, you know, they're all right. <laughs> I've only ever had one in grown toenail. There we go. All right, guys. <laughs> so anyway, guys, we're the Ungodly Geeks. Check us out on uh, Patreon and Twitter and Snapchat. Google Play. Wait, we don't have one of those. <laughs> we do not have a Snapchat. Google Play, iTunes. <laughs> Give us reviews. Hey, we're on TuneIn Watch Radio. Watch the go YouTube. Listen. Yeah, tune Watch in. the YouTubes. Oh, yeah. If you give us five bucks a month, you get to watch us do stupid shit behind the scenes. You get to watch us. <laughs> you get to watch me apparently clip my thumbnail, which is also a toe. According to Ron. <laughs> you get to watch Ron set his coffee on fire. That's yes. Yeah, you know, and yawn and play with fire. Yeah. And, and no. look at his phone. All right, guys. For the Ungodly Leagues, I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good day. Peace.